All right, guys, I'm back. Pause menu. Uh, dang. Find the architect. Why am I still doing the grunt work? Hmm. Call a taxi, here we go. Way, sir. Thanks for calling. Great. Hills, good thing, man. All right, brother, here we are. Home, sweet home. Reuniting the family. So what are you doing right now, Johnny? Plowing a field. Okay, I just I get so mad and I can't control things and then you know shit just falls on top of me My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out But all that wimpy shit is just well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay So that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like it's not because they're gay so lame All right, you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things I don't know if I love you and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? 
I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Cause I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, dude. Yeah. Hey. We need a better How's your plow. Mother? Hmm? Oh, she's great. I said I need a better plow. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. Can reach What's she gonna further. do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's <laughs> mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. <clears throat> we'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. <laughs> I think mom's at the machine. Go to bean machine. All right. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know st stuff. Whoa! You maniac! Way to show your family you've changed. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows. They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Oh, the ranch is crazy. Nice. Ah, oh, you fuckhead! Oh, okay, here they are. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Oh, boy. Let's walk up and be civil. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your cheese as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you doing? Boom! Yeah. That's a really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. Yeah. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want to... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you and you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation Someone Shut up. i guess we could try all i'm asking for is a shot neutral ground dr friedlander's office it's perfect all of us i'll pick up tracy and bring her there meet you fine all right you come on Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. 
Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. <laughs> no, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum and... Oh, man! This is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. Tattoo. <laughs> Time to get a tattoo. Looking for something hip that you know says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes, even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show. Amongst the four-year-old female demographic? So, you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Pierce Laszlo's bro brow, Pierce Laszlo's nose, or his ear. How about how about game of nose piercing? Yeah. Oh. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh my god! Papa Bear! What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... Uh, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? Please don't tattoo a cock! You know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. Ugh. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah. Uh. There we go. Oh. Nice. Uh. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. That's nice. uh. 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 Sniff, sniff. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. <laughs> what are you doing? my ponytail now I gotta get extensions no what you gotta get is my daughter whatever she wants yeah without sucking on your piddle stick look okay guys <laughs> that was a joke I'm a clown I'm a sad lonely little clown hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good okay okay I got a lot of juice in this town but I mean I'm not a miracle just do it you yeah. really Fine. you really uh, want something go. else cut we gotta get to the <laughs> Oh. You could use a tattoo gun. It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. <laughs> you know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Thanks, Mom. All right. Thank you. I'm going away. Your brother be here. Okay. Go to Dr. Freelander's office. Not to be difficult, 
but your therapist hasn't exactly been <clears throat> transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, Shit. what are you doing? This was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it means yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian around the head. Like Fabian around the head with the laptop? Oh, yeah, like ow. Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad hand. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Hear, hear. You're, like, finally, like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for, like, good. Not an objective, universal good, but, like, a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. <clears throat> what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it, it! Do, do it. it! Do it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. Seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. <laughs> you know how much is for the us? Careful. Look out. Look out. Oh, Way shit. to show your Sorry. family you've changed. Time to go inside. Amanda! Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, being positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath you. No, normally there's a core beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. <clears throat> we'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? 
I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right. Kids! Are you gonna take us home then? Yes. In our busted up car. Yes. You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. <clears throat> Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach. Or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. <laughs> And we're home. Oh, yeah. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel.
last one standing. Again. <clears throat> hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. <clears throat> hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. <clears throat> What time is it? Uh... And then I just go in here. And then I just give it less of the briefcase. to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh, oh maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So... Plant some firebombs. They go bang. The emergency call <laughs> goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Even <clears throat> in the office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or 
Defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. Let's see. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the <clears> workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Hmm. Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm. Fireman, roof entry. Fireman, roof entry. I'm gonna go roof entry because I went fireman on my first playthrough. Of course. Now you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. <clears throat> ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle. They did good evangelical, remember? This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yes. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements to call you when we're ready. All right. <clears throat> you know, um, I'm still looking into that union depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. You know what, you know what guys, I'm gonna end it off here. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.